Welcome to the garden. These are a snake plant, and they're really uh, kind of a foolproof indoor plant. They're succulents, so they don't require very much water. They grow nice and vertically, so they're great for decor. I like to even extend them vertically with tall pots. They can filter the air, and they release oxygen at night. So they're a really beneficial house plant. Today we're going to transplant this one. I'm going to give it a little more space. It's in quite a small pot and they don't actually need a lot of space. This tall one is actually only in a medium sized pot. It's not actually filling the entire thing. And that just makes it easier to dry out because if you have a problem with these, it's probably going to be overwatering. We tend to love our plants to death. And on succulents, that's especially easy to do. But they have really beautiful, tall leaves. And we're going to try propagating these today by cutting them up into sections. But before we do that, let's just pull out the roots and take a look at the shape of the plant. So they have little orange roots and big tubers at the center. So I'm very gently softening the soil so that we can take a closer look. You could do this in water to be very gentle, but the soil is so dry that it should fall apart fairly easily. So you can see how little root there is to support a pretty decent sized plant. That's all the roots that's supporting it. So here's the rhizome. That's the part that can send out new shoots. And they also shoot out new leaves from the crown. Now I might be able to pry this leaf apart. You can see it's a little bit separate. If we can take a couple roots with it, we might be able to take a a cutting or a rooting here. So I'm just going to kind of slowly and very firmly pull this apart. Any damage that this causes oop, can be healed. Okay. So I think we're okay. We did cause a break in a kind of a weird spot, but there's such a great body of root here that this should probably be fine, especially since we're going to remove some of these outer leaves. And then this one should be able to survive on its own as well. It might take a while to reform a crown, and it may even decide to shoot out a whole new crown. But I'm going to just plant this out in some succulent mix and the potting soil is important you want it to be very well draining I'm using a small pot so that it can dry out even faster and I'm going to refrain from watering this until I've allowed a couple of days for that wound to heal so this is just going to sit in this dry soil for about two days and then I'll come in and give it a drink and then let it dry out again. But I've washed my scissors so these are really clean and sterile. I've actually bleached them because once we take a cutting it's gonna have a open wound and if you reuse the same scissors over and over again you can actually spread disease. Now this we're going to cut in half, but we're going to keep an eye on the orientation. If you were to flip it upside down and plant it like this, it might have trouble rooting. So we really want to keep an eye on how we do this. I'm going to just cut it at this kink so that we get two samples about five inches long. Try to make a nice clean cut. We're going to keep them vertical like this 
and we're going to allow this to heal. So you could just leave them out for a couple days, let them heal that way, or you could pop them in some soil like we did with this one and just leave it for a few days and then after three or four days maybe you can start watering. I'm going to use the container that this one was in and I've got just some dry potting soil and I'm going to nestle these in and just bury them about a third of the way up and we want to keep that upright so if you're cutting a really long leaf like this one here you want little sections about five inches long and it can be pretty easy to lose track on which way is up so you could mark them or just plant them like this right away and then you don't have to worry but we're gonna do a couple more I'm gonna take a young leaf this lighter green one here I think is a good specimen so I'm gonna try and get a clean cut without damaging any other leaves so I think that went well so we've got another about a five inch cut you can see that this wound really needs to heal over so I'm gonna try one in the open air and we've got two in the soil and I'll add this one later um, I'm actually gonna take a bunch more just to see how many we can get keeping them vertical trying to cut fairly flat if you, this one I got a little angle on it but that should probably be okay this one's only about four inches but that should be alright too now I'm actually gonna take this one and just use that hole now to up pot this and this is actually not much deeper than its original pot but that's okay because these snake plants shoot out laterally they'll often shoot out a new crown out here and then it'll come up and we can see that in this one here it shot out a new growth and this is a whole brand new plant that could be split apart but I'm really happy with how this one's doing it's growing nice and vertical so we're gonna leave that one alone for today but I'll be planting this out but that does need to heal just like our cuttings so I'm not going to water this right away I'm gonna wait a couple of days and then we'll come in and water and then probably shouldn't need water again for a long time so we're gonna keep our cuttings moist after they've healed over for a few days but we want to keep them a little more well watered than the plants we want to keep these relatively dry so once we water them in in a few days we'll let these dry out but we want our cuttings to stay moist we're gonna put them in a very bright location but not in too much direct sun because then they can dry out. Cuttings really don't need full direct sun but they still need a lot of ambient light. So a nice bright location somewhere relatively warm and dry and keeping the soil moist but not saturated. So with any luck we'll get 10 new cuttings and two new plants. So I hope you give this a grow. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.